Okay, we're working on a 939 series truck, A1, um, 250 Cummins. Um, doing a transmission swap right now, or a mod. Um, did a few transfer case mods, we'll point it out. Um, first off, you'll notice no more jack shaft. Um, no more looking the interlock solenoids or anything else up here. Um, what you can do is, here's your front transmission mount. <clears throat> There's a block right here. Let me see it real well or not. Um, you got two lines coming off of it. One goes to your uh, linear valve on the front axle engagement switch. And then the other one goes to the uh, little round interlock sewing over on top of the transfer case in that bracket. Um, what you can do is you can either plug them off like I did. Or <clears throat> if you can get a union, a male union. Um, DOT fitting style 3 8 you can take this line here off and this line here off and connect them together and that'll just send your air right to the front and it gets rid of all the air um, coming off of those. That's got, this actually line actually goes to the yellow line here goes all the way around down the frame behind the air dryer and that little beam up and then to here off your pressure protection valve um, and then yeah, it goes that way so, but you can part those two off. Um, one of them was uh, for the interlock, which <clears throat> kept the shift fork down. Um, you can just plug that off, and then run. You got a line that goes to your uh, to the long uh, stick on the linear valve, the long uh, fitting. It comes from <clears throat> the uh, switch up front. It's off the firewall. It'll be a little uh, cotton jack off the firewall to the uh, passenger side of the top turtle valve connectors. Um, it'll have a female on it right here where it goes into the linear valve or the front axle engagement valve. Um, or you know, your lockout uh, for low range. Cut it off a little short, <clears throat> push lock, new line, and then I use that female to screw on to this is your uh, front axle engagement cylinder. Then just hook it right there. <clears throat> so now you hit the switch in the front, it locks it in. Um, <clears throat> if you're with the Atlas, then you have to still keep the uh, uh, the button on the uh, shifter to go through the uh, uh, torque converter to unlock it so you can shift gears a lot easier. Between low and high, I won't have that problem with the new transmission. Um, so do that. There's no more air problems. It's straightforward, single air, shift and go. Thanks to Swamp Donkey on this mod. You know he's the engineer.